So welcome to VN News right here on VN TV. TSF, so it has been a very eventful week and we're yeah. bringing you the omni bears of all the exciting stories we brought you right here on VN News. So you don't have to move a nerve. We're coming back with more exciting stories reminding you of what we brought you over the week. Um, my name is Mimi K and... I'm Kelvin F and K. It's Sunday. Did you go to church today? I, I always ask that. Did you go to church today? I was praying in my house. Oh, you were praying in your <laughs> house. <laughs> I was praying in my house. God listens to me. Anyway. Okay, okay, that works. So we'll go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll be bringing you the stories in detail. Oh. Officer, you give us office. Come here, you are saying officer. Gasso, there's nothing. We are checking papers on this name. There is one certain guy who walks down one foot on that side. But I'm not and driving car. You are not driving car. Says Why haven't you been picking your calls? I hope <laughs> what is this you're watching? Check that thing. Give it back! Wait! Give it this back! This is so funny. What program is this? I'm watching two papers on VNTV. VNTV? Oh, come on, nice. Everybody knows about VNTV. VNTV is an online TV. Wow. Yes. You can log on to www.vnationtv.com and you're ready to go. Just like that? Just like that. And the interesting thing is that we have so many amazing programs you can watch. And the coolest thing about VNTV is that, that you get to watch it anywhere. You can watch it on your smart TV, you can watch it on your smartphone, you can watch it on your laptop, iPad, anywhere. It's that cool. Wow. Let me get my stuff uh, so we can uh, go. Not too fast. Why? So you wanted us to go to the mall. Yes, that was then. But now, let us stay home and watch VNTV. <laughs> Are you serious? Very, very serious. <laughs> I thought you were mad before. That was before. Or who don't like a wolf? Anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome back to VN News. It's the Omni Bears of all the exciting stories we brought you over the week. Yeah. Now, let's get into the uh, stories proper, proper. Now, on the 27th of uh, November, we brought you news coming from Ghana, and it was Casa Preco unveiling Shatawale as Storm Energy Drink Ambassador. Yes, we brought you the story and how uh, moving from his the time, beef. in fact, is turning all his stress into blessings. Into blessings, really. but it's working for him, and I'm not sure it's going gonna, it's gonna to last long, though. Why but, are you? Why are you? No, because why are you, you professing doom for Sunday? No, I'm not professing doom. Up it, today is Sunday. I mean, come on, God bless me. I love Jesus. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, I mean, it's as a result of all the beef and you know, blasting Nigerian. You don't know with, that. That is what has you made him more no, popular. You, you know, know he now. Was more popular than I mean, as of now, that, that that was what made him. That is so not true. I wish, <laughs> oh, I wish uh, Casa uh, Preco and uh, Shatawali all the best. It, it, this looks like a good deal for me. Now, the reason why they gave him this contract, according to them, was uh -huh. the fact that he has a lot of energy and he depicts what they're talking about. It's an energy drink. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Okay. That, I mean, of course, I definitely wish him all the very best. Now that same uh, that same day, which is on the twenty seventh, which is on Monday. Uh, uh, we brought a story about uh, Timaya jabs Shatawale over beef with whiskey and Patoranki. So that was during the period that uh, Shatawale was still, you know, trending with the beef with whiskey, you know, calling whiskey, saying whiskey is not a superstar and all that. Now, uh, over the week, uh, Timaya responded to that. He was saying that he doesn't know who Shatawale is. Just Mimi know. Of course, I do know him. All, all right. But he, sa he said he doesn't know who Shatawale is. He was asking if Shatawale was a... Uh, a plumber or a shoemaker, Mimi. It's but yes, Shatawale uh, also replied saying that I'm a plumber with your family members. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be Shatawale versus Nigeria right here. So <laughs> so we'll keep it that way. So That's so great. there you have it. Uh, we brought and it first. So in uh, the whole uh, beef and what is not uh, reasonable, what is reasonable business. Yeah, me Anade was in Ghana last week and she was talking. Now she yeah. was telling us that Ghanaian Jolof and Nigerian Jolof was a very senseless and very baseless argument that was yeah. going on between Nigerians and Ghanaians. It was said, it didn't just on. make sense. But I totally agree with her, it doesn't make sense. Now, away from that, we brought you some exciting stories on Tuesday, the 28th of uh, November. We brought you Jocelyn Dumas, named Best Actress at the 2017 Toronto International Nollywood Film, Film Festival. Festival. 
yeah. that this was on the back of the very very new movie that was premiered yesterday which is uh, the potato potato potato, potato. yeah it was premiered in ghana yesterday yeah, yeah it's a very exciting time of beautiful people and yeah. very beautiful movie as well yeah and also on that you didn't you you you, you you didn't want me to comment on the Yemi Day staff, but no. we'll comment about that later. <laughs> so still on the 20th, 28th of uh, November, Tuesday to be precise, we brought a report about David Doe Olamide Mayuku wins big at the 2017 Nigeria Entertainment Awards, which took place in New York. That saw a lot of uh, personalities, trending personalities in the music industry in, in, in Nigeria representing and of course going home with big awards. So we congratulate uh, David Doe Olamide, uh, Mayuku and others. And also Meghan Markle, yes, the wedding of the century. We, we just can't wait for this wedding in May. Yeah. Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry are engaged. Yeah, they did finally engage. And we'll be seeing uh, the wedding, the proper, proper, the proper royal wedding. wedding come up very soon. But I just can't wait for it. I really can't wait for uh, it. You, you want to take tips for your wedding as well? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm marrying a British man. Oh, you marrying a British man? <laughs> I'm marrying a British man. British man. A British man. Okay. Now, uh, away from Tuesday, the 28 uh, uh, stories, on Wednesday, the 29th, we brought a stories about a Ghanaian musician, Trigmatic, and wife welcomes baby boy. Now, we brought an update about one of Ghana's finest uh, music personality and, of course, a TV, uh, radio personality as, as well, well. Uh, Trigmatic, welcoming uh, a newborn baby, he and his wife. That was, that was, that was a nice one, right? Most yeah. definitely, most definitely. And then, of course, uh, final Olamide cleared the air about cultural tour in, in Canada. Now, the thing is, they were, were supposed Post to be in form. Canada to perform. And uh, just at the half quarter, in fact, bef just before the uh, show could start, the producers went on stage to say, uh, El Fino was, was not was, feeling was well. Was well. And they found another excuse for Olamide. Now, apparently, that was a big lie told yeah. by the organizers of the event or, or of the tour in Canada. Apparently, they had breached a contract they were not supposed to touch. So, yeah. um, Fino and Olamide decided to pull out to at pull the out. very last, last hour. Minute. Of yeah. the show and they apologized, but apparently they were in Canada that day as well. So yes, that's what really happened, and they cleared the air about it. Yeah, and also uh, you know after the engagement of uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they have been the talk of the town. I mean internationally and locally, the stories are trending. And on on Wednesday the 29th, also we brought a report about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's makes first. TV interview after the engagement. Now, in this particular TV interview, they spoke about how they met and how it's been for the past a year and a half. And the fact that uh, Mikhail was saying that she, you know, she's going to do, she's living acting because of the royal marriage and all that. Being a royal, you know, in the royal family, it comes to a lot of responsibility. Yeah. That's what Mimi is looking for anyway. So, we brought a report about Meghan Mikhail and Prince Harry's uh, makes first TV interview after engagement. Now, House of Cards hopes to resume soon without Kevin Spacey. Now, this issue has been the talk of town. Yeah. Not too long ago, there has been reports about sexual harassment. sexual harassment. And Kevin Spacey happened to be one of those people that has been accused of uh, sexually harassing another person. But the thing is... Um, his movie that a movie that he, he a series that he happens to be featuring in is going yeah. to be coming back they went on a break they went they went with, uh, on a setback because of the whole uh, sexual so harassment like, yeah. Yeah. but as a stunt they're going to be coming back but it is alert that they probably will not be coming back with kevin spacey yeah. acting in there so the lovers of house of cards if you love kevin spacey you might not be seeing him in mm, the movie house that's of not cards. too good that's a rather sad one for yeah, that's not too good okay so this uh, is our omni bus coming to you live from our studios here in accra ghana we'll go for a short commercial break when we come back we have more headlines Gentlemen, this is the street where so many things happen. They're good, they're bad, and they're ugly. But don't worry, that is why I am here to give you the best gist when it comes to entertainment with your favorite celebrities. Catch me live on DNTV every Monday, 4 p.m. It's all about street vibes with legend. 
Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Omni Baz of all exciting stories we brought you over the week, week. on VN News. We are excited to be here. Yeah. And I'm particularly excited because um, we're going to be bringing you more just like fresh stories tomorrow, which happens to be Monday. Now, thing is, um, on the 30th of November, we brought you more stories. Yeah. So we're getting into that pretty qu quick. And now you might want to get interactive with us on our social media handles because this is the powerhouse of entertainment. entertainment. We are getting you excited all through. You can uh, log on to our uh, or subscribe to our YouTube channel and then get a repost of all the news you have been missing and, and, and then enjoy both of us. We yeah. are the of the moment. So yeah, you couldn't do it without us. It's entertainment. <laughs> and we are entertainment. Of course. That's right. That's right. Right. Now, on the 30th of November, we brought you Sarkodie responding to Yemi Alade's claims. Now, the claims are that of uh, Yemi Alade saying that um, she is very disappointed Pointed, yeah. in Sarkodie because Sarkodie missed three appointments of the of this, which was supposed to be a video shoot yeah. for their song. Now, uh, Sarkodie came. I wasn't expecting a response from him because from he's him. good at that, but he decided to respond in a very sarcastic way, saying that. He doesn't even remember <laughs> at any point when Yemi Alade might have invited him. And he said that, okay, well, well, I, I don't remember. But then again, the job is so stressful. I might have even uh, missed what collaboration yes, she's even yes. talking about. Is so that yes, possible? I don't know. I'm not going to get into Sarkodie's business today, really. Well. So, yeah, that's what's coming from uh, Sarkodie. He said that he does not remember, remember at all at any point where Yemi Alade might have invited him. And all of that. That's rather a sarcastic one, which I thought, yeah, it's a total blast for that young man. How could you really? Well, I'm sure by now, uh, Yemi Alade has gotten over that. And yeah. of course, she's going to move. She has a brand. She's a to brand. Protect. Yes. So now, away from that uh, story, still on the 30th of November, we brought a report about the federal government of Nigeria to sell Tafawa Balewa Square, the National Theatre, and other assets to finance the 2018-2020 budget. Now, to some people, this uh, would not be a good move by the government, but the government has uh, its own reason for wanting to sell these assets, which includes the uh, uh, popularly known National Theatre in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, and we were talking the other day that um, if only the new managers will not make it more difficult or difficult for movie makers and event organizers to use the place as they were being able to use it when it was under the government, it could be fun. Yeah. It can be fun it because be it could be better. Because it could if, be if it's been uh, it privatized, be. I mean, uh, they, they they might do new uh, take a carry out a couple of uh, renovations. You, you know, you know, right? Yeah. So th uh, there you have it, the federal government to sell the Tafawa Balewa Square, the National Theatre, and other assets to finance the 2018-2020 budget. Now, Banky W was back in the news last week because of a very funny incident, or a rather a very um, unfortunate incident. Now, Banky W mistakenly shared a video of Adesua Itomi uh, without clothes. So we are at the Zabula Lodge in South Africa, and right outside our cabin, zebras, right outside the bedroom window. Now, that uh, was a very quick one. I watched the video, and I thought that, yeah, the man might have not listened properly, but I, I, we brought you reports about how uh, the queen, the queen, Omotola Jalade, uh, advised, advised them, them yeah, not to, stay, to, to stay away from social, social media, media as long as they want their marriage to work. To so work. this is a very big one to them. And see, uh, it, it was a great advice to them. So they didn't even have to get more advice. This one is a huge advice. It's a huge them. advice because... Even though he later went back on social media showing pictures of them seeing zebras and all of that. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's um, okay. He's just trying to cover up. But yeah, they, 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 I mean, the deed has already been done. Yeah, been done. And yeah. I'm pretty sure he will learn from that as well. Yes, 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 yes. Now, um, away from that story, on the 30th also, we brought about uh, Jay-Z and Kendrick Lamar lead nominations for the 2018 Grammy Awards. Now, this is history in making because this uh this uh, new or better still the forthcoming uh grammy awards is being dominated by blacks yes. and for jay-z kendrick lamar and those from the black community to be represented more to others it's like you know maybe not so cool so yeah. there's, there's been a mixed feelings because the, this particular uh the 2018 uh, grammys is being dominated by the blacks by the blacks but you know we, we, we're happy 
We yeah, we happy. We, we happy. happy. we happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Uh, Jay Z and Kendrick Lamar leads nominations for 2018 Grammy Awards. Now, on the 1st of December, yes, on the 1st of December, the new month, where uh, I was so excited. I don't know. <laughs> December has a feeling. It has a tool. Yeah, we're yes celebrating time. Jesus. Yes. Yes. And it, it, it's going to be a beautiful one. I know, I know very much that this Christmas, we are not going to leave you out of the all the excitement we're going to be going through. Now, we brought you Jocelyn Dumas Premier's new talk show, Keeping It Real. Mm. Yes. She is uh, keeping it real. I don't know yeah. if she's kept it real with her lifestyle, but she's definitely coming to keep other people's lives real, real on her talk mm. show. So you might want to look out for that as well. Now, moving away from that. Away from that, still on the 1st of December 2017, we brought on news about Ghanaian celebrities uh, visiting ex-president Mahama on his birthday there was Aww. lots of love for not just uh, his colleague uh, politicians but also celebrities and other dignitaries all around the, the, the nation and the world uh, celebrating uh, former president John Dramani Mahama on his birthday 59 or 69? 59 59 he's, he's too young Aww. he's too young <laughs> I'm so happy <laughs> I'm so happy for him He's a great man. He's yeah, a great yeah, man. We yeah, definitely yeah. will celebrate him. Now, away from that, Davido and Whisked win big at the 2017 Mobile Awards. Now, it's it's another good year. It's yeah. been uh, so far so good. Davido and Whisked have been doing amazing. Amazing. The songs they are, are great. great arts. They have had a very, very, you know, uh, sweet, sour year. But I think mostly it has been a very good one for them. Congratulations yeah. to Davido and Whisked. They keep making Nigeria proud, keep making Africa proud. Proud. Yes, certainly. Um, and away from that story, we brought about uh, Jay-Z discussing race, therapy, and his mom being gay as he covers the New York Times style magazine. Now, uh, Jay-Z is the current uh, cover of the uh, New York uh, uh, Times style magazine, Ted, where he is today yeah. and how he's been able to keep up to fight and get to where he is now. So that one came from... Uh, uh, America, of course, where Jay-Z uh, discussed race therapy and his mom being gay as he covers the New York Times style magazine. Yeah, that's right. But uh, it's been a great turn for the man Jay-Z and I'm yeah. very proud of him. I'm so proud of Jay-Z. He's a, I'm a proud black young woman. Oh. Because people like Jay-Z are keeping it real with us. Yeah, they're keeping it real. that is the way to go. Now, away from that, Floyd Mayweather and his new $26 million at Beverly Hills mansion was burglarized while on a vacation in China. Now, apparently, the rich boxes, uh, Mansion he got after his very recent bout yes and uh, bought him a very huge uh apartment and he left to go to have you know to cool off it's been a very how many years of uh of striving and yeah he's still, he's still he's he might still as well good. just take a vacation just when he decided to go on a vacation his house was under uh attack he was bug his house was burglarized and I, I, apparently the, uh, a lot of things were taken away from that yeah, house sunglasses, a lot of expensive things were taken away a lot away. of stuff but we're looking out for how uh, he, he's going to sort that out and yeah. how we're going to see who the culprits are yeah. but uh, a very big story to the man Mayweather he, if he's, he, he, really he has no but, but see you might have a lot of, a lot yeah, of money yeah I know <laughs> things that are very memorable yes I, I know but he bought it not, not, not up to a year now just like, know, like three months ago wow. ah, yeah so well, there you have it. Um, I think we'll go for a short commercial break. Yeah, we break. do would want to go for a short commercial break. Yes, and when we do come back, we continue with more stories of the 2nd of December. Yeah, it's, we're still in the first season of December. Get excited, get interactive with us on our social media handle, which is uh, scrolling down um. your screen and get subscribed to our YouTube channel for more more excitement. I mean, the other programs on there the two yes. papas is there the ones to watch, watch there the cockroaches is there <laughs> Conquer, <Sanchez. laughs> yes all of that is there so you might want to get excited on our youtube channel we'll be right back with more stories Oh yes, Accra is about to experience the hottest storm ever. Double D Entertainment in collaboration with Money Power Entertainment presents Lil Wind Storms Not Sea Beach. Hey, who are some of the artists performing? Jack, it's gonna be a surprise. You can't miss it. Oh really? So when is the date? It's 2nd December 2017. Why is it taking place? At the North Sea Beach inside Kolegono. And the time? It's 5 p.m. sharp. How much? Oh, it's 20 Ghana cities per with free Mamba energy drink. Hey. 
Eh, hey, then I can't miss it. Wait, sponsors, Adam Secret, Mamba Energy Drink, Ice Gold Mineral Water, Kempon Travel and Tours, Jack's Bitter, Odai Monster Electronics, Media Partners. You can't miss it. Great, you're welcome back. If you're just logging on, this is VN News, and today is our own mini bars. We are coming to you live from our studios here in Okra. I like to get a little messy, like you like to get a little messy, right? <laughs> These are all mini bars where right? you know just say everything, everything the like way you it know, is. refreshing your mind. That's right. Now, for those of you who are not able to follow us from uh, Monday to date, all you just have to do is to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you get the repost of all our news update during the week. Now, let's so, let's go this. straight to on the 2nd of December, uh, where we brought a story about Shelly Frimpon to commenting on Chris Atro's marriage collapse that was just uh, yesterday what did she so say? I, I, we all know now I mean it is it is it has been made public that Chris Atto and uh, his uh, his ex-wife yeah yeah uh, or better still Chris Atto and his girl Dami Lola oh, are no more angry. Are no more, mm -hmm. yes. So, uh, also, you get to hear it. So, Jennifer Paul Mansu was on air that was uh, uh, proud to the premiere of a, of a movie, Potato Potato. Now, when asked about the uh, thoughts uh, regarding Chris Atro's uh, and uh, Dami Lola's divorce, she said she actually loved the two of them because they are unique people, but it's sad in the heart of not just herself, but everyone around them. Because uh, according to her, Chris is a loving person, romantic of course, and uh, Dami Lola is also a good actress, and they are all her friends. So Chris is beyond a friend, because Chris is actually her brother-in-law. Oh. Yes, Chris is actually her brother-in-law. So Shelly Fripon Mans is, is married, married to- Chris's uh, brother? Yes, Chris's brother. Oh, interesting. Yes, so she's saying uh, she's heartbroken, the entire family, are uh, not so okay with it, but you know, it's yes. about the emotions and relationship. But they have a son together, Brian. Right. Now, according to uh, Chris Atto, though they are no more, he still respects Dami Lola. And, he, and Dami Lola will forever be a unique uh, woman he's seen from there. You know, it, the, the, the love Aww. came about when they were shooting the longer televised uh, series, uh, Tinsel. That was how they started all the love. And anyways we wish them the very best oh, so there you oh, have oh, it i want to meet terry right now <laughs> shelly oh. from pump man to comment on chris Atter's marriage collapse oh now are you the am i the only one who wish they get back together because chris is a very good friend and i've <laughs> met brian i've met brian brian is an amazing child you see well, you know what i pray brian becomes the factor that brings them together amen amen uh, today's yeah. sunday amen to anything you say <laughs> <laughs> Now, Stella Damascus opens up about being emotionally abused by, by his a second, second husband. husband. You have to do yes, so so apparently, uh, Stella, you know, uh, it's been a while we've, we've heard of her, uh, yeah. but she's been online. She has her own blog. I personally, I follow her on, on social media. She has her own blog where she inspires people. She now do gospel songs as well, and she's based in the uh, USA with her husband. Mm. Now, just a Thursday, she posted a, a Photoshop uh, of herself. Uh, throwing back to 2009. Now, in that particular post, she was saying to the world that in that post, as a then, then 2009, what people could see was a smiling, strong, and strengthened woman. Mm. But no one knew that that day, before she took that picture, she just went through emotional distress, crying in a bedroom before going down to take such picture after being, you know, um, abused by an ex-husband, emotionally beaten and all that. So she was saying, a better still saying to ladies say no to domestic violence that was now, now she's happy because most of her posts right now it's all about smiling stella damascus and her husband found love and all that wish them all the best well these celebrities are just going through too much yeah. i feel like it's not fair it's not fair it's not yeah fair. it's not fair because you know when you come on on the screen everybody i feel you should have uh, 150 percent uh, relationship life but at the end of the day uh, those who are not so abreast with what we do they tend up to just you know mess up with emotions and all that but anyway so y'all all just get into the relationship with this why there's a uh, celebrities just to mess up their life their life to, to to it's like a it's trophy it's, it's like a fair. trophy it's to like, some of them it's like i i messed up I, with them yeah like, this is not cool. It's not cool. Anyways. Stop that. If you're not in love with her, don't go there because don't. of her fame. Don't go there because of his fame. Don't go there. In fact, don't just go there at all. <laughs> so okay. top Nigerian political uh, political figures congratulate Wizkid on winning big at the 2017 Mobile Awards. Yes. Oh, Wizkid is a big nod. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's a big notch and everyone is celebrating him. Mm. From the ex, from the immediate ex-president, good luck, Billy Jonathan, and the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar, wow. as well as uh, Senator uh, Ben Bruce, they all congratulated him. Do you know the reason they congratulated no. him? He won the best international act at the just concluded Mobile Awards. Yes. Now, do you know who he was with in that category? Yes, Jay Z he, was thank there. Thank you. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar, Lamar was, was there. there. See, See, man, you did it. Yes. He won it big. Like so he's like that, that's like this the biggest. It's like the heart. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's what we're talking about. Whiskey, you are too much. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you. Yeah. That is why. Can't uh, people make that is why I don't think far. I mean, Nigeria and Africa proud. Yeah, we no, are proud of you. Yeah, Ghanaians are also proud of him. We're definitely proud of you. Of See, thumbs up to the man, Whiskey. You are <laughs> just something else. What? Kendrick <laughs> Lamar? And people are still congratulating him, though. Yes, he deserves it more. I mean, the whole festive season should just be for Whiskey celebrating him. You know, let's be fact about it. I think so far, he, this award mm. has. Uh, gotten him more international recognition. Yeah. More. Already he has it. He but this particular it. mobile awards, I mean. What? <laughs> okay, okay, so, so he admits to cheating on, on Beyonce. Beyonce. Now, this is on the back of uh, his recent talking about be real. Be yeah. real about his life and things that had happened. Now, when after talking about his mother being gay and all of that, he also admitted that at that point of survival, you know, there's a point you get in your life that yeah. you just break down. Yes. You become emotionless. Yes. Now, this is the point he got to when he cheated on mm. his wife, Beyonce. Beyonce Bay. But he admitted cheated to it. Bay. And he, he said at some point, they, this is so, the only option they had was to just, you know, break up. Break up. But yeah. when Noles, when Noles decided to fight him, one on one. See, why would you cheat on my sister? And Bay was quiet. There he knew that the love was real. Yeah. There he knew that he needed to work this. I think that that video went viral. Yeah. The slap was was was, was epic. <laughs> the slap was. But epic. yes, he worked it out. And today, Bay and Jay Z are still Two together. together. That is how to fix things. You don't just break up because someone cheated. I didn't say cheating is good. Don't, you, you, you didn't say cheating is good. Yeah, you don't cheat on Sunday. No, you don't cheat on someone you love. But yeah. when you get to that point where Jay-Z got to where he thought the world was just too wicked to him, he could just get black. You come back to yourself and yeah. let God lead the marriage. Yes. Oh! It's uh, been a great week. Yeah. I know next week definitely will be more exciting. More exciting. And we'll have more stories yes. for you. But yeah. you just have to, the only way you can get I mean, be in this house or in this atmosphere is just to follow us on our various social media handle, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a repost of today's um, update and the previous updates. It's been an exciting one. My yes. name is Mimi K. And I'm Kelvin FNK. It's a wrap. <laughs>